How's it going everybody? It's Warren and we have some major, major, major news today. The video that I've been waiting to do for a very long time now, Spider-Man is officially saved. That's right, Spider-Man is 100% staying in the MCU. According to an article from Variety, Sony and Disney worked out a deal and Spider-Man is going to stay in the MCU. The article from Variety goes on to say that Marvel Studios and its president Kevin Feige are going to be the ones who produce the third Spider-Man film and it will be in the MCU. This will be the third Spider-Man film in the Homecoming series and of course it will star Tom Holland. The next Spider-Man film is scheduled for release on July 16th, 2021. And according to the article, not only are we going to get another Spider-Man film in the MCU, but Spider-Man will appear in other MCU movies in the future as well. Amy Pascal is going to produce the third Spider-Man film through Pascal Pictures, which she did for the first two Spider-Man films. Kevin Feige in the article goes on to say, I am thrilled that Spidey's journey in the MCU will continue, and I and all of us at Marvel Studios are very excited that we got to keep working on it. Spider-Man is a powerful icon and a hero whose story crosses all ages and audiences around the globe. He also happens to be the only hero with the superpower to cross cinematic universes, so as Sony continues to develop their own Spideyverse, you never know what surprises the future might hold. Now, if you're like me, when you hear that, you think of one thing and one thing only, Venom. So it seems like both parties of the Sony-Disney deal get what they want. I know there were a lot of people that wanted Spider-Man over at Marvel, but I know there were a lot of people that wanted Spider-Man to stay at Sony because they want a Spider-Man Sony film, but they don't want Venom to be nerfed. They still want a Venom that's pretty brutal and they thought Disney would kind of play him down a little bit. So either Tom Holland will be Spider-Man in the Venomverse that Sony has or Venom is going to be coming to the MCU as well. But regardless, it is official. Spider-Man has been saved. He is going to remain in the MCU. Be sure to let me know how excited you are that we finally see this deal come to an end and that we finally have Spider-Man once again in the MCU. Be sure to let me know in the comments down below. Of course, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and comment with your favorite superhero or villain so you can enter my giveaway for a chance to win an Xbox One or a PS4. Also, follow me on Twitter and click the link in the description down below for your chance to win a Nintendo Switch. As always, thank you all so much for watching. Woof woof.